Hello guys and welcome back to another For Honor Heroes build video with me, Daniel Does It. Today we're working on Nushia and the mode we're focused around is Breach Defense. So let's go ahead and get into the three perk selection as always. As we have here, we have Devour, Endurance, and Headhunter. Reason why I go for Devour is because it pairs up with Headhunter, which increases our health, our max health. Further permanent increase for the entire Breach match by four, four times. So once you execute four players, doesn't have to be four different players, just once you execute four actual AIs or player characters, heroes, you'll get a four increase for a max of four, which is the total of 16. So once you have that, you don't have to worry about getting an increased health. You will still wanna get executions because one, it reduces the respawn count for the attacking team and two you get extra health from an execution now we all know especially in Dominion it's hard to get these executions going but Nushi is all about kind of like extracting her opponents in a 1v1 even then you have all these traps and everything that will have other players not trying to be around you if you're trying to get down to one player endurance I choose over survival instincts crush them and early reaper and the reason why that is is because it increases our stamina cost reduction for a max of four gains now this one you don't need executions for all you gotta do is get your feats unlocked and that's a renown level so for those of you who don't know if you have let's say feet two which I believe is the cow traps or I think it's the one where it makes you do more damage in a 1v1 either way when you have your second feet unlocked that is renown level two when you have your fourth feet unlocked that is your renown level four you'll get a max of a 12 percent stamina cost reduction for all your moves feints etc allowing you to chain up more combos than usual at the beginning of the match which let's be honest will sometimes give you the more benefit of a fight in the battles moving on to the feat selection i go with deadly do it caltrops slip through and infection now the reason why i go with deadly do it for the first slot is because <clears throat> you'll deal more damage in close quarter parliament I mean, combat against alone enemy enemies so this even counts for you against the guardian if you want to go fight the guardian and you're fighting him by yourself and your teammates are distracting the other one or all this stuff is going on in the battlefield no one's paying attention to you you're doing more damage to that guardian thus allowing you and your teammates to benefit off the guardian's powers on top of that if you're able to get people alone like we're trying to isolate people with nushia then you're going to do more damage on top of having more stamina cost reduction etc if you have more health you're doing more damage you're lasting longer and we all know Nushia is an amazing trap character I choose that over bounty hunter because yes we are in breach now if I was an attack I'd probably go for this but we're not we're already you know just really we have no respawn punish when it comes to defense on breach allows you to try to take out the enemies more with a damaging skill rush is pretty cool I guess for like dominion or a that's the only place I can see it useful, but compared to the other feats we have in the first slot, I would not go for it. <laughs> Moving on to the second feat, I choose Caltrops over Revenge Attack and Thick Blood. Thick Blood, let's be honest, not too many people use Bleak characters. The only one that I started feeling annoyed by is the Shaman because she not only gets a bite if she's bleeding you, but she also gets to hit you with Light Attacks, regain health while you're bleeding. That is just retarded. But other than that, it's kind of useless if you don't see no bleed characters on the field. So it's like you have a second feat for no reason. That's just canceled out. Revenge attack, I guess, would be nice. And revenge, whenever you're getting ganked, it allows you to get revenge more. My problem with revenge is maybe like 30% of the time, whenever I try to activate it, it just doesn't want to go through. If someone's guard breaking, you have revenge. It doesn't want to work. It, I, I just don't understand it sometimes. If you get bashed, you try to use revenge. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's not something that I personally rely on with my builds, in my opinion. Caltrops allows you to go to where their troops are spawning. You could throw this on the ground and it'll constantly take out those troops. On top of it, it'll give you some renown points per troop damaged or hurt which increases your renown level or feat levels unlocked that gives you more stamina cost reduction. It's also really good to use around your commander if they get that far or again around any certain area you're trying to defend or if you're trying to get the banner, throw it on the banner or around the banner, etc. 
Moving on to the third feat where you slip through and I use that over takedown and threat of fate. Threat of fate, uh, I don't know. I'm really not feeling this one. Yeah, people do run away. Especially when you're in Dominion, uh, maybe Breach, it's the same thing I'm sure. When you're fighting someone that's usually only trying to fight with a teammate and every time they're about to die, they run away to go heal or they try to attack you when you're fighting someone else. That is kind of some garbage stuff, but this is the only thing I feel that would like counter that. Sometimes, if an ally from their team does happen to come after you, when you do have this on and you're trying to kill someone, half of the time you have to pay attention to that ally that's coming at you with full blood because if not, you're going to get killed trying to be bloodthirsty to kill that one that's running away from you. So, Threat of Fate, I don't know. I wouldn't go for it. Takedown, it's pretty cool. I mean, you could guard break somebody if you don't use your traps. There's so many ways to use so many different combinations when it comes to Nushia. She's amazing. I really do love her. But... I don't know, I don't really care about the throwing people on the, on the ground trying to get my max punish. I'm more about trying to get attack. If I'm not alone with someone with Deadly Do It, at least I'm still getting attacks while I'm dodging players and or doing side dodge attacks because hey, let's face it, we're just trying to take them out and prevent them from progressing any further. Going down to the fourth feet, we have Infection. I choose that over Berserker and Regenerate. Regenerate would be nice, but we already have Devourer. We have Headhunter. We don't have a respawn count restriction, so why are we trying to like literally use a feat that we could use to damage rather than to heal ourselves, right? We do have a heal zone where we can heal, and then plus you do have Devourer, which you get more health off of people you do happen to execute. So because we're trying to take out the enemy's player's respawn count or prevent them from getting any further, I went with Berserker. Is affection. Berserker is cool. It used to increase your attack greatly. Now it's only defense and speed greatly. It doesn't stack with anything else. So I mean there's so many kind of ways to boost yourself up in the breach field that I just was like, you know what? Why not just go with affection? Let's say you're at the end, they are at your commander. They're trying to bum rush him or they're trying to bum rush the guardian. You can use affection on them and because they're grouped up, they're all taking more damage. Throw some caltrops, you're done, it's over. S like do a four dash attack. To try to catch them slipping and you already have slip through which increases your damage on that hit. That's basically going to wrap it up. That was pretty fast for the new Shia. We kind of got down to the point. I wanted to go ahead and point out this build is awesome. I really do appreciate all you guys taking your time to watch. Look out for an awesome moment that we're about to post up today after this build and the Valkyrie build. Again, thank you so much for taking your time to watch. I really hope you guys enjoy. Check out these other videos. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>